we are dealing with people and people who are connected in a community and those are important values that need to be upheld as we try to build the highest quality systems of health care that care for persons with illness, not just care for diseases. Richard Payne was a big guy, a big man, not just physically, but in terms of his heart, in terms of his caring, his compassion. He had this deep respect for the human spirit. I was so admiring of him um, because he lived that. He lived that as a physician, he lived it as a teacher, he lived it as a mentor. And I think he inspired all of us. Dr. Payne was a giant. He practiced the art of medicine, um, even more so than the science of medicine. Um, I believe that's what set him apart. He was a gentleman. He was a scholar. He was a whale of a physician. He loved his patients. All he wanted was to do what was right, what was in the best interest of the patient in front of him, uh, the student in front of him. That's, that's what he sought, and that's what he leaves us. People are people. They're not a collection of molecules and tissues and organs, right? So we have to understand what that person with the disease or illness really wants to accomplish. It was important for us to have someone of his stature. He was the John B. Francis chair. John B. Francis was an early member of our board and a remarkable man, much like Richard, actually. And in the chair, we wanted someone who had the highest professional standards, of course, but also someone who had empathy for those in need or in pain or in distress of any sort, and those really concerned with ethical problems, uh, particularly in medicine. And I think Richard certainly exemplified all of those qualities. We knew the kind of depth and conviction, integrity, dignity that he would bring to his work. He challenged us, he inspired us many times over. When he joined the center, he was in his early 60s and you know, very physically vibrant and healthy. But I think it was a place in his life. He was thinking about this third chapter in life and what would that be? And I, I think it was um, maybe a match made in heaven, literally. Access to the highest quality of care should be accessible to everyone, not just a privileged few. The most excited I would see him get was about our duty to make sure that the underserved were not forgotten. Richard and I exchanged more conversation about justice in the area of medicine, medical care and disparities of care than probably any other topic. I think that his legacy will also be that he touched lives through his family, through the people that he has loved, and through his God. He was a faith doer in terms of integrity, ethics, honor, sensitivity, caring, compassion, all those virtues he lived those out on a daily basis. You know, he was so loved and so admired that it'll take a while for us to heal from the loss. He would want us to, to go on, I know he would. He'd want us to be stronger than ever. Cherish those memories and cherish that there was such a man named Richard Payne that walked upon the earth. <laughs>